Earlier this month, there were celebrations of Mexican heritage all over the country. Cinco de Mayo can mean a lot of rich and spicy dishes. There are ways to enjoy Mexican-themed dishes without going overboard. Registered dietitian Kayla Irvin Blackstock's here with some advice on how to bring a lighter touch on the menu. Kayla? Thanks, Joe. There are so many ways that we can still eat all of these great Mexican dishes and exile all that traditional lard and salt used in the preparation. So we have three great dishes that you can incorporate into your Cinco de Mayo party or your family table. First of all, we're going to start off with our five-layer guilt-free Mexican dip. This is going to start off by soaking and cooking your dried pinto beans. You're going to puree them and that's going to be your first layer of this salsa. Then we're going to add our low-fat sharp cheddar cheese and then we're going to do our avocado salsa. This is going to consist of a little avocado, lime, and cilantro. Then you're going to add your reduced fat sour cream and your tomato salsa on top. The tomato sauce is going to consist of tomatoes, a little bit of onion, cilantro, and jalapeno pepper for a little flavoring and spice. This dip is great served with baked chips, or you can make your own homemade whole wheat pita chips with a little bit of olive oil and bake it. Then we're going to move over here to our enchiladas. These healthy enchiladas are going to eggs out that traditional lard refried beans. And we're going to do non-fried edamame bean. It's a high protein bean. It's made up of extra fiber. It's going to be pureed with a little bit of cumin, chili powder, and cilantro to taste. This refried bean contains about 8 grams of fiber per cup, which is about 32% of your actual recommended daily fiber. The fiber consists of mostly soluble fiber, which means it's going to slow down the absorption and formation of fat in the gut. These enchiladas are going to be started off in preparation with a little bit of edamame puree uh, slapped over the top of these whole wheat tortillas. Then you're going to do your beef filling. The beef filling is going to be with a little bit of spinach, red bell pepper, and low so sodium tomato sauce. And you're going to use eight ounces of lean sirloin beef. Anything with loin in it when you go to the grocery store usually means it's a leaner portion of meat. And just remember to always cut off that extra fat. We're going to start off by layering your casserole dish with low sodium tomato sauce. Then we're going to wrap the tortillas with the beef filling and the edamame puree. And then you're going to top it off with a little bit of low sodium sauce and your low fat mozzarella cheese. Lastly, we have our baked salmon with a spicy cilantro salsa. This salmon is great. It's a higher fat fish, but it is mostly unsaturated fat and rich in omega-3s. The omega-3 fatty acids are actually great for your cardiovascular health and help prevent heart disease. The salsa is made up of a little poblano pepper, lime, cilantro, and green onion. All of these dishes are great to serve up to your family and friends or at your next fiesta. Joe? Kayla, where can people go to get these recipes or some other heart-healthy information? They can go to smartmedicine.tv or wkno.org.